Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In a previous video I mentioned that the power to the motor stopped on my Rad power bike and I contacted Rad customer service. They sent me through a series of tests which I have in a previous video and they determined that I needed a new wiring harness and controller. This video explains the process that I went through uh, installing the wiring harness. I'm still waiting on the controller so here we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is remove the old wiring harness right now. And I have instructions uh, that Rad sent me a link to to remove the wiring harness. The instructions look pretty good. We'll find out here in just in just a minute. So we're going to connect the display cable that goes to the wiring harness. So that's got to be this device. Everything pulls straight out. And the interior is green, so I've got, got the right one. And figuring out this kind of a spaghetti mess. Uh, I think we'll get rid of this. Be careful not to cut the... Didn't cut any wires. Good sign. You know, bad thing here is in Florida, near the ocean, everything rusts, even though I had it put away uh, in a canvas toolbox, still rusts. Got a lot of salt in the air. This goes to the brake cable. And that looks orange. That is red. Alright, I had a hard time finding a type of wrench that will fit these screws. This is the cable cover. We have to get that off. Well, in every project you have a bolt that doesn't want to cooperate. And of course, they don't give you the Allen wrench. I'm not sure I have one. Okay, I did find that I had an Allen wrench. 
I don't know if you can see this the way the camera is pointed. But One left to go. Uh huh. I got that. I got it off. That's the, th this must be the throttle control. And the yellow. No, the yellow is throttle control, red is brake control. And the headlight. Get that off. I want to look at the uh, existing cable here. That is black. Black is coming around to black, but where is... Okay, that's this jumper cable here. Green out. Green has to match up with the green. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I got all these connections figured out. It still looks like a mess because I've got to uh, use wire ties and put the cable cover back on. But so let's give it a test. But before I give the test here, what I want to do is point out that this particular wiring harness has a jumper. And you have to be cognizant of that. The jumper goes kind of right around back into the little black box there. I suppose that's where all the connections are made. And then get it focused here. That green end actually is what goes up into your uh, user interface controller, which
is this. That's your display. Okay, let's uh, turn it on and see if anything smokes. Well, got some lights. It's a good sign. Now, I really, when I started out with this, I really didn't think the wiring harness would fix the problem with the power going to the motor. Uh, that's actually the controller device, which is below the battery, and that's coming oh, in about a week, and I'll install that, and then hopefully it solves the problem, but uh, here again, if I twist the throttle, nothing happens. So the motor still isn't getting power, even though I have a new wiring harness. Now I do want to see the headlights on. Well, that's a good sign. Everything's wired up good. Come around. And we've got a tail light that comes on. Now And we've got a brake light. So now the next step is to put the wiring cover back on. This goes back down here. Covers the wires up. So we will get started on that. Okay, now one thing I did, I used uh, tape to hold the wires flat before I put on this cover. Because without the tape, those wires would not stay flat and they covered the screw holes and it was just a big pain. So I just taped them flat and then put the cover on. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just take, take my knife and just trim the tape. And that's nice and flush. See how flush that is now. And all those wires fit, amazingly enough. Okay, we got the finished product here. All wrapped up, all zip tied. And we're ready for the controller. That's what I have to install. That is the next step. And then hopefully the bike will be ready to go and work and just be back like new. Let me show you where the controller is. The controller is down here below the battery and I have to take all that apart to get to the controller and replace it. So that's where we are and I'm anxious to get back here and ride on the electric bike. Okay, I don't know if I've said this already, but the customer service that we had has been really good. Uh, they really walked me through the steps to test the bike and find out what the problem is. And hopefully the con controller will uh, be the solution. And we will see here in the next few days. But uh, I just want to give a shout out to the service people, customer service people at RAD. Uh, they've been very good. And, you know, anything new, a new car, a new electric bike, a new motorhome, you're going to have problems. So, it's kind of not, not really unexpected, but I guess it was. Anyhow, if you like the video, please subscribe or hit the like button. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. So, thanks so much. Uh, it's been an honor to give you these videos, show you what I'm up to with the Rad Power Bike, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye for now.